In this video we'll have a look at how to create the shadow, that drop shadow, 2D shadow that we created in the other elevations. Uh, now because this is projected a long way it's going to be a deeper shadow. So let's grab that same fill that we used before, Alt to pick up that fill setting and we could or we could actually just drag a copy of that. So we can extend that all the way down. Uh, I think there's a veranda that this sits on, so we'll just keep it up off that veranda slightly. And we will extend this as, as much or as deep as we want it to show at. So we might do something like that. Then move mirror a copy. Again, this fill doesn't have an outline, which uh, means it just joins seamlessly in representation. Now this goes all the way across to the next brick. And theoretically we could have little shadows um, on each side of the column. So we could do something very small to represent that if we wanted to. Uh, let's see, let's use this method. But it's really not going to be very big at all. We could just do that maybe. Maybe just a little bit bigger, so it looks a bit better. There we go. And we'll just create, a, drag a copy of those. Maybe for the last one as well. And we'll take this one all the way down. Great. So that, that's it, that's um, our shadows. Now in the next video we'll have a look at how to dimension uh, the floor plan and how to dimension the section. Now we don't have enough detail really on the section to understand that in great detail, um, but we'll look at the floor plan first.